Welcome to A28 The Movie Part 4. This section of the road travels from between the villages of Westbeer and Hurston all the way to Margate on the North Kent coast. Part 3 of the route took us from Ashford through the city of Canterbury and followed the valley of the River Stour through the North Downs which is England's second longest hill range. Canterbury itself is Kent's only city. It's bypassed by the A2, which is the Dover to London Road, and Watling Street, the ancient Roman road, also runs through the city. Canterbury is famous as the seat of the Church of England, and its cathedral was the location of the murder of Thomas Beckett and Canterbury was also home to the playwright Christopher Marlowe after whom its theatre is named. This is the village of Hurston. Canterbury, Sturry, Westbeer and Hurston more or less run together as one continuous settlement, although I'm sure residents of these places retain their individual identity. At this eastern end of Hurston, there is now a roundabout to serve new industrial units. We are now entering the village of Up Street. Place names ending in street often indicate a location along a Roman road. The road now descends towards the Wantsum Channel, now just a small stream. This was once a considerable body of water separating the Isle of Thanet from the rest of Kent. Kent has several other islands that are not technically islands anymore, such as the Isle of Oxney and the Isle of Grain, and there is also the Isle of Sheppey which is separated from the rest of Kent by the Swale.
In the opposite direction, there is a route confirmation sign showing Canterbury as being 8 miles away and Ashford 22 miles. This is one of the few indicators that this is a long distance route along this section of the road. We're now entering the village of Saar. To the left, to the right actually, the A253 departs for Ramsgate. The A28 continues towards Margate. You will notice that the road signs on this section of the road are green, indicating a primary route. The A28 is non-primary from Hastings to Ashford and primary from Ashford to Margate. This is the village of St Nicholas at Wade. At this roundabout, the A28 is crossed by the A299 Thanet Way, which connects the port of Ramsgate with the M2 and London. This is the third of four dual carriageway sections on the A28. The first of these was bypassing the centre of Ashford, the second was the Canterbury Ring Road, and we shall encounter the fourth dual carriageway section at Westgate.
We are now entering Birchington on Sea. Birchington, Westgate and Margate tend to run together as one continuous settlement. So this is that fourth and final dual carriageway section, Westgate on Sea. Originally, this last part of the A28 would have been part of a London arterial route to Margate. Like South End, Margate is popular with residents of the capital wishing for her a day at sea. This was of course evident in the episode of Only Fools and Horses, which was known as the Jolly Boys Outing. Now in the area of Garlinge, the A28 singles again.
We now bridge the Margates to London railway line, ready for the final mile along Margate seafront. Margate is now equally famous for the Turner Gallery, named after the artist who lived in the town. Modern day artist Tracy Emin also has connections with Margate. Dreamland Amusement Park can be seen on the right hand side. This is the end of the A28, although we will continue a little. The A254 goes off to the right to Ramsgate. Broadstairs, which was home of Charles Dickens, can also be reached by this road. I hope you've enjoyed this journey from Hastings to Margate. And there are many other road movies on this channel, including the A2070, the A262 and the B2067. Thank you for watching.